Hey everyone, what's up? It's Kathy, and I'm uh, back with another process video. And today I'm scrapbooking a picture of my husband and one of our cats. And this is for the Paper Issues Positively Pets uh, challenge that they have every month. And uh, so I think kind of the theme for this month was to scrapbook something that you love about your pet. Um, anyway, so. <laughs> I decided to scrapbook this picture that my husband sent me uh, through um, iMessage while I was I, I was out somewhere I think I was like visiting or something and he was home and so he sent me this picture and it's him and our cat Apollo who is the brother cat we have two cats and they are siblings and their names are Artemis and Apollo, and Artemis is the girl, and Apollo is the boy. And he's a big, he's kind of a big cat. He's a big tabby, and he's a big sook. And he adores Steve. Even though Steve torments him um, constantly, he, like you can see, if you can see the picture, he is nuzzled right into him, like as if he's, like as if they're hugging and that's the way he is. If he's sitting where it's like sitting on the couch and doing something and like watching a movie or something and he just kind of crawls right into his lap and he <laughs> acts like he's like he's a lap cat, even though he's way too big. Um, and then he'll nuzzle his chin underneath uh, Steve's and things like that. Like he's just super sooky. And uh, whenever he comes home from work, he jumps up like a dog and runs to the door to meow at him and stuff like that. Like he just adores him. So anyway, I thought this was a perfect kind of subject to scrapbook. And I'm using lots of the Wonder Collection because I have a lot of it. And uh, it had the ki the kitty faces, the, the yellow paper. So I only end up using the 6x6 paper pad for it. Um, the tag is from Maggie Holmes Gather. Uh, this is like a 3x4 cut apart from the Wonder Collection with the Meow. <laughs> Though it reminds me a lot of uh, the Cute Girl Collection as well. It's very similar. So I'm just kind of deciding if I'm going to back the, uh, the picture any more than it already is. Which is just with like a very light blue chevron. But uh, I'm not going to. I did use some of the Pink Paisley. Uh, I cannot remember the name of the collection, but it was their like outdoor summer camping collection. Uh, and I had the uh, the paper that was like wood grain with uh, kind of an Aztec uh, print, and so it's in there too. That uh, that wood um, ephemera is like the wood. Uh, the wood veneer is from We Are Memory Keepers. Mm, I feel like that's who it's from. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> uh, using have some ephemera from Wonder and some from the Gather Collection. So I'm just kind of mixing those in, uh, and I just grabbed anything that I thought might be applicable uh, to what I'm doing. I knew I wanted like another layer or so. So I kind of went off and had to make some phone calls and stuff like that. So anyway, that's why there's kind of a time lapse there. And I was going through some of my stuff as well. So now I'm just kind of, I'm going to, this is like one of those layouts where I didn't really have a solid idea to begin with. And I'm just going to fiddle around with, you know, the, the, tiny amount of embellishments that I'm going to actually use uh, for this layout. It was a difficult picture to match, I guess. Um, I did use a filter from a program that I have on my Mac and what is it called? Pixlr... Pixlr-O-Matic. 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 It's really weird. Anyway, it's, um, it's kind of like, it's, 
it reminds me of like Instagram for your Mac because you can't put Instagram on a computer. You can only do it on your, uh, you can only do it on your phone or your tablet or whatever you have. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> I, I did, um, I did alter the photo a little bit, uh, brightness, contrast, all that stuff in Photoshop and then I took it into that little free pro it is a free program by the way and uh, altered it gave it a, a filter that made it very kind of blue and green just because there was so much going on in the picture like he's wearing a tie-dye shirt there's the cat there's a plant behind him it's a gray wall and there's a yellow curtain and <laughs> all this kind of stuff because this is before I painted my my living room Anyway, I love that one. This is hanging with the fam. Because, you know, he's so the fam. But he is. I really liked it like that. I keep forgetting where I've put stuff. And I don't take pictures or anything like that. So, of course, I, <laughs> I forget where everything's going. It's kind of sad that that cat face, the, the black one, he looks so sad in the picture. Just like he's like... With his whiskers drooping and his little mouth kind of drooping. He just looks like he's going, meow. And <laughs> super sad. So it doesn't really make it like a... It kind of makes the picture look like it might be more sad than it is. But it's actually a very cute picture. Um, yeah. I like that little tiger mask. Now, the thing with the tiger mask is it's cute. And when else am I going to use it? So I'm totally going to use it here. But I'm also looking at the fact that I haven't brought in any orange anywhere else in the layout. So after I stick this down, oh, sorry guys, I'm tired. After I stick this down, I realize how weird that looks with just that one piece of orange. So I have to go off and find something else that is also orange. And I'm just trimming off all the edges right now. There. Uh, and gluing stuff down and doing all that kind of stuff. I'm also going to try to bring in some of the blue because there's blue backing the photo, but there's no blue anywhere else. So I find some stickers, just that little like flag one there and the one that says fantastic. And I kind of fiddle around with the flags and then I end up uh, putting them up top and cutting out another piece of orange from another three by four cut apart to put up there. Of course, I'm going to put some Baker's Twine in because I just, if I've got a tag, it's got to have something in it. Yeah, so there's what I'm going to bring in. Though, I am going to switch it for a second here because I, uh, I go to glue it down and then I look at my chipboard for the Wonder Collection and uh, I know there's still some of that in the shop too and I realized that um, I'm not sure what is in the shop, but I know there is a little bit. I noticed that I have this uh, chipboard that's orange. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So I stick it up there. And then it's when I'm stapling and everything that I realize it says be brave. The other one said be happy. This one says be brave. And I'm like, oh, well, that uh, is not applicable because that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Um, so I go back and get the other one. So that's why it switched out. And I went off and got my watered down black paint. And I'm noticing here that my camera keeps zooming in and out, of course, when I go up high. And uh, I must have to, I'm going to have to program it so that it does not autofocus because I didn't realize it was. And it's a good thing this is sped up four times because if not, it was so long to get those. I wanted the big splatters. And it took so long for them to drip down because if you water it down too much, it doesn't stay nice and black. So you can't water it down too much. So you just have to kind of sit there and wait for those drops to plop out. So you could see me kind of make a few uh, in some areas. And then I'm going to use the fancy pants letters that were um, that came out over the summer. And I just love the, the dipped look of these ones. I'm going to use all ones that are dipped with the gray. Um, save the white ones for something else. 
So I love getting in the hashtags. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do this with like two different fonts. So the first one is going to be this cute one, like hashtag bro. And then I'm going to use a Dear Lizzie uh, foam uh, thicker for the rest of my title. And uh, yeah, I mean, I know this layout looks like it took a really long time and it did take a really long time, which is kind of sad. Um, but most of that was just me and my indecision. Uh, about what I was doing because really there's not a whole lot to this layout. It's a very, very simple tried and true uh, stuff like layout design. Like this is such a an easy layout to replicate. You know, just your your picture in the middle or a couple of pictures and then your pieces on the top and the bottom. I, it's something I do quite a bit and I always do it to ground uh, everything so it's not just looking really bare. So yeah, uh, I'm going to add my journaling onto the card that actually says meow, um, just because I couldn't think of any place else to do it. I didn't want to do strips um, or anything like that. So yeah, so I'm going to do it there. So it's just a little bit of journaling just to kind of get the point across of the photo. So I'm not worrying about being perfect. There are very faint lines on it, so it kind of helped guide me as to where to write it. So that's about it. Um, pictures are going to be coming up. And don't forget, if you're going to Paper Issues, to use the discount Cat Martin 20 to get 20% off. So bye!